everyone! So for today's video, I'll be sharing with you how I filled out my application for employment authorization or the form I-765. So just to give you a quick background, I got here in the US on a K-1 visa and now we are married and this edition expires in October 31, 2025. And just a disclaimer, guys, I am not a lawyer. This is just based on how I filled out my form. So let's start. So start here. Type or print in black ink. So part one, reason for applying. I am applying for select only one box. Uh, 1A is initial permission to accept employment. So that's what I selected. And then for Part 2, information about you, your full legal name. For this part, I already put my married name here. So, family name, Clark, given name, Lois, and then middle name is Lane. So, this is just for example, guys. And then, other names used. So, provide all the other names you have ever used including aliases, maiden name, and nicknames. If you need extra space to complete this section, use the space provided in Part 6 Additional Information. So, for 2A, the family name and given name, this is where I put my single name. And then the 3A and the 3, uh, 4A is only NA since I don't have any more other names. But if you have, you can include it here. And if you need extra space, you can always put it in part 6 additional information. So let's go for the next part. So for the part 2 information about you, your US mailing address. So for this one, you just have to uh, fill out your mailing address here. So street name and name, 1234 West Street. And then your city or town, Rancho Cordova. Don't forget the state. And then the zip code. So for the 5A, you can either uh, put your name here. Uh, in my case, I just leave it blank. And then for the number 6, is your mailing address the same as your physical address? In my case, it's just the same. So I just selected yes here. Note, if you answered no to item number 6, provide your physical address below. So if you have different address, uh, you can put it here. If you have different uh, mailing address or US physical address. So just put it here. And then other information, alien registration number or your A number. So this, guys, this is uh, located, uh, you can see this in your NOAA 2 or the notice of approval. So this is on top of beneficiary's name, if I'm not mistaken. And then for 9, USCIS online account number, if any. So I don't have any, so I just put NA here. And then for gender, I selected female. Marital status, married. Have you previously filed form I-765? I selected no. So uh, since this is my first time. And then for 13A, has the Social Security Administration ever issued officially issued a social security card to you so i selected yes here since i already have my social security number note if you answered no to item number 13a skip to item number 14 if you answered yes to item number 13a provide the information requested in item number 13b so since I already have my social security number, I just provide it here. And then do you want the SSA to issue you a social security card? So you must answer yes to num item number 15, consent for disclosure to receive a card. So I selected no here since I already have my SSN. So note, 
If you answered no to item number 14, skip to part 2. Item number 18A, if you answered yes to item number 14, you must also answer yes to item number 15. So since I selected no here, I just have to select no here in, as well on the 15. But if you don't have social security yet, uh, just stick the yes here and yes here and then you have to fill this out. In my case, I already have my social security number so I just leave this blank. For the next one, your country or countries of citizenship or nationality. List all countries where you are currently a citizen or national. If you need extra space to complete this item, use the space provided in part 6 additional information. So for the country, I only have Philippines here. And then for the 18B country is, I just put NA. For the next part, uh, information about you, place of birth, list the city, town, village, state, province, and country where you were born. So for the 19A city, town, village, or of birth, I put Batangas City here. State or province of birth is Batangas. Country of birth is Philippines. For date of birth, so you just have to put your... Uh, Date of birth there and then information about your last arrival in United States. So the form I-94, arrival departure record number if any. So I just put your form I-94 details here. And then 21B is passport number to your most recent issued passport. Uh, passport. So you just have to put it here. You can see this in your passport. And then the travel document number, if any. So I just put NA here. And then country that issued your passport or travel document. So Philippines. And then expiration date for passport or travel document. So you just have to put your expiration date here. So like for example... So just put it there and then date of last arrival into the United States on or on or about. So you can see this in your form I-94 as well. So you just have to uh, fill this out. So this is just for example and then place of your last arrival into the United States. So... In my case, mine is San Francisco. And then immigration status at your last arrival. For example, B2 visitor, F1 student, or no status. So what I put here is K1. And then your current immigration status or category. So just the same, K1. Visa holder. And then for this, this is not applicable to me. So I just uh, put NA here on this number 26. So just put NA there. And then for this one, information about your eligibility category. Eligibility category refer to the who may file form I-765 section of the form I-765 instruction to determine the appropriate eligibility category for this application. Enter the appropriate letter and number for your eligibility category below. So uh, this is uh, for my uh, in my case, I put C09 here since I'm on a K1 visa. And sometimes, so this is what I, I really search for this one since uh, other people just put C9 here and then other people put C09 here. But in my case, this is what I did. That way, I don't leave blank on the box. So that's it and then so this one 
so this is not applicable to me so i just put na here and then just put na here just put na here too so eligibility so this is not applicable to me as well so i just put na here uh, for this eligibility category if you enter the eligibility category c8 and i didn't so i just skipped that part and then so if you entered the eligibility category c35 c36 so those are not uh, my category so i just skip those part and by the way guys for this uh for this eligibility category you can uh find this on the form i765 instruction for application for employment authorization so you can find it there if what category you are in and then for the third part application Applicant statement, contact information, declaration, certification, and signature. Note, read the penalty section of the form I-765 instruction before completing this section. You must file form I-765 while in the United States. So, applicant statement. Note, select the box for either item number 1A or 1B if applicable. Select the box for item number 2. So, 1a so this is what i selected i read and understand english and i have read and understand every question and instruction on this application and my answer to every question and then you just have to put your number here telephone number or your cell phone number and same as this one and don't forget guys your uh your email address to here so this is just for example uh, gmail.com and then select this box if you are salvadoran or guatemalan national eligible for benefits under the abc settlement agreement so that is not applicable to me so applicants declaration and certification copies of any documents i have submitted are exact photocopies of unaltered original documents and i understand that uscis may require that i submit original documents to uscis at a later date Furthermore, I authorize the release of any information from any and all of my records that USCIS may need to determine my eligibility for the immigration benefit that I seek. I furthermore authorize release of information contained in this application in supporting documents and in my USCIS records to other entities and persons were necessary for the administration and enforcement of U.S. immigration law. I understand that USCIS may require me to appear for an, for an appointment to take my biometrics, fingerprints, photograph, and or signature. And at that time, that if I am required to provide biometrics, I will be required to sign an oath reaffirming that I reviewed and understood all of the information contained in and submitted with my application and two all of this information was complete true and correct at the time of filing i certify under penalty of perjury that all of the information in my application and any document submitted with it were provided or authorized by me that I reviewed and understand all of the information contained in and submitted with my application and that all of this information is complete, true, and correct. So for this one, guys, don't forget the applica applicant signature here. So just put your signature here and don't forget, guys, the date. So just for example... 
so don't forget this guys no to all applicants if you do not completely fill out this application or fail to submit required documents listed in the instruction uscas may deny your application so for part four interpreters contact information certification and signature so i didn't have any interpreter so i just put na here and then for the next one interpreters contact information not applicable as well so just put na there and then for this one as well just put na and then for the signature there's none in there so for the preparer's full name just put na here as well mailing address as well as this one is na and then preparer's contact information so just put na here so for this one it's not applicable to me since I don't have any preparers. So for the part 6, additional information. So if you need extra space to provide any additional information within this application, use the space below. If you need more space than what is provided, you may make copies of this pages to complete and file with this application or attach a separate sheet of paper type or print your name and a number if any at the top of each sheet uh, indicate the page number part number and item number to which your answer refers and sign and date each sheet so in this uh in this part guys i just put my name here as well and then my a number here too i just put it here just in case and that's it guys and we're done so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching bye bye